North Korea suffered a massive internet blackout on Monday, taking all state agencies and media offline for several hours. The US declined to say whether it's responsible in light of the row over the humiliating hack attack on Sony Pictures, which Washington blames on Pyongyang. It's another tantalizing twist for American media, which has slowly become obsessed with the small communist country. Marina Portnaya looks at the headlines. North Korea making a new threat against the United States. The North Korean military cyber soldiers. In a few short years, a member of the so-called Axis of Evil has become the axis of mainstream media attention. Last week, Rodman hanging out and partying with the North Korean leader Kim Jong-un. From basketball stars to a satirical Hollywood movie. You want us to kill the leader of North Korea? Yes. What? Over the past three years, the American public has been forced to become familiar with North Korea and its 31-year-old leader. Even when there's no news to report, some media outlets have proceeded to make up stories about America's adversary. Dictator Kim Jong-un reportedly had an ex-girlfriend executed by firing squad. Yeah, that turned out to be untrue. And then there was this. A Chinese newspaper says the uncle of North Korean leader Kim Jong-un was eaten alive by a pack of ravenous dogs during his execution last year. Kim's uncle was executed for stealing government funds, but no dogs were involved. The widely reported story came from a Chinese satirist who was poking fun at the notorious North Korean leader on social media. And then, of course, this month has seen a major spike in North Korea-related news. U.S. officials say they have proof North Korea is behind that Sony hack attack. Pyongyang denied involvement in what it called a righteous hack on Sony Pictures. The biggest corporate cyber attack in history ultimately caused Sony to cave in to cyber terrorists and not release the interview, a satirical movie about a fictional plot to assassinate North Korea's leader. But have no fear, an adult film studio is keeping the spotlight on Kim, announcing plans to produce a pornographic parody of the interview. Gamers, too, can get up close with Kim Jong-un. A video game is in the works that pits the North Korean leader against the so-called imperialist armies. $9,000 has been contributed so far to get the concept up and running. Meanwhile, the U.S. has vowed to hit back against the attack on Sony. They caused a lot of damage. And we will respond. Uh, we will respond proportionally and we'll respond uh, in a place and time uh, and manner that we choose. As jokes and rumors about North Korea swirl through the media, it may be that the very real threat of U.S. retaliation is being kept out of sight and mind. Marina Portnaya, RT.